Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about accounting standard process in this video. What do you mean by accounting standard setting? Accounting standard setting is the process of developing and establishing a set of rules and guidelines that dictate how financial transactions and events should be recorded, presented and reported in final statements. These are the set of rules and guidelines which will help you to prepare all your financial statement in a proper manner. These standards are mainly created for ensuring consistency, transparency and comparability in financial reporting for various entities such as corporations, not-for-profit organizations and government agencies etc. Accounting standards are crucial for making financial information understandable and relevant to useful persons. Uh, the various steps are involved in standard setting process. The first step is identification of the need of new standards and amendments. It is important to know what is the need for setting such a new standard. Uh, we have to identify this. In this process, um, new accounting standards or amendments to exist ones can be identified first. Then uh, this can be initiated by various stakeholders including regulators, industry bodies uh, or on accounting profession. Then the next step is setting the agenda. Once you identify the need for the new standard, it is important to state the agenda, which is nothing but uh, we have to uh, decide whether uh, which area or topic should be addressed through this development of new standard. Then the third step is to constitute a committee. The NFRA and ICAI establish a committee rest responsible for the standard setting process. This committee often includes experts from the accounting profession, industry, representatives and regulators. The discussion paper and public con consultation. The committee has to prepare a discussion paper in which it has to outline the proposed changes on new standards. This document is made available to the public so that we can get the feedback from them. Then the next step is deliberations and recommendations. The committee has to review the feedback received during the public consultation and it has to consider the various viewpoints from the users. Then they then deliberate on proposed standards or amendments and make recommendations for final standards. Then the next step is approval and endorsement. The recommended accounting standards or amendments are submitted to the NFRA for approval. Once the NFRF has approved the proposal, then it must be sent for endorsement. The next step is for publication of accounting standard. Once it is approved and endorsed, the new accounting standards or amendments are published. Training and education. After the publication of the standards, training and education programs are often conducted to help accountants, auditors um, and business people to understand and implement the new standard effectively. Then implementation and compliance. In this stage, the business people are required to implement the comply with the new accounting standards or amendments. Then monitoring and enforcement. Regulatory bodies including the NFRA monitor and enforce the compliance with accounting standards. They can conduct adults, uh, sorry, audits and investigations to ensure the companies adhere to the established standards. Then uh, review and update. Accounting standards are not statics. They are periodically reviewed and updated to align with changing business practices. As we all know, the business is a dynamic one. It will not be static. So it is important to update and align the changing standard according to the requirements. International accounting standards and regulatory requirements has to be considered uh, importantly. The standard setting process is ongoing to keep the accounting framework relevant and effective. The final stage is international convergence. India has been working towards convergence with International Financial Reporting Standard, which is shortly known as IFRS, to facilitate global comparability and meet the needs of multinational companies. The process of adopting IFRS involves making necessary changes to uh, Indian accounting standards, which is known as IAS, to bring them with, in line with IFRS. So these are all the various steps which involved in a new account standard setting process. This standard setting process in India ensures that uh, the newly developed accounting standards are 
perfectly updated to reflect connect economic and business conditions and add 